the number one need for ministry in the Middle East is to train leaders. My name is Imad Shahade. I'm the founder and president of Jordan Evangelical Theological Seminary, JETS. Our mission statement, that is the mission statement of JETS, is equipping spiritual leaders for planting and strengthening churches in the Arab world. I believe that the New Testament, or God's method for ministry is the local church. And my wife and I have been involved in planting several churches in Jordan ourselves. And even as students at Dallas Seminary, we planted a, an Arab church now, which is about 30 years old now. One of the reasons we exist as a seminary is so that uh, we would keep leaders there. You know, if we were to, to send men and women to the West to be trained, very few of them would return back. So we want to bring the best training to the Middle East so they would stay there. There's always a need for Western missionaries to be in, in the East. However, the students that come to the seminary come from different, the different Arabic-speaking countries of the, of the Middle East, Arab Peninsula, and North Africa. Here we have Arab missionaries to Arab lands. A growing number of churches are, have been partnering with us uh, to su support our graduates as they go to very difficult and challenging places. Our Lord is the God of the impossible. And when things get tough, we often throw in the towel. And that's why we don't get to experience Him at work. Uh, but if we trust Him and hang in there, He will begin to work. And when He does, you sit back and watch it happen. Believers who have come from the majority religion of our area in the Middle East have come to know Christ and seen what He has done, that He has died for them and offered complete forgiveness and justification. They love Him so much. And when you see uh, th these group of believers from that background uh, huddling together to form a church, it's a marvelous thing to behold. With an unreached population of 300 million Arab people in the Middle East, the need for jets is strategic. Uh, few ministries have such potential for effectiveness in such a tense environment. Through many dangers and setbacks, God has brought fruition to Dr. Ahmad Shahada's desire to influence the most complicated region of the world for the Lord Jesus.